Welcome to Digital Toolbox. I'm Scott and today I'll walk you through plotting points using a range and a custom function in Grasshopper. With this we'll start to be able to drive our own function. Here I'm toggling the amplitude of a sine curve and also the the domain through which we uh, run that won't run our function. So to start off I'll go ahead and open up a new definition and find the range button. It's under logic sets range. To give us our range it'll ask for a domain D. It starts at zero and then we'll uh, go ahead and grab a slider, double click to search, grab a slider and I'll edit the points to be integers from 0 to uh, we'll call it 40 and this is uh, going to say that the domain is going to be from 0 to 40 now it also asks us for the number of steps we want to take from 0 to 40 which can be just 40 as well and that will give us one for every unit on our graph or on the grid but it could also be 20 and that will give us one every two units or anything in between so we'll go ahead and just leave it at 30 right there this doesn't mean anything until we plot the points so to get the points we'll have to go under vector point uh, XYZ will be the best for this for this exercise and then we'll just go take the X straight to the straight to the range so we can see that the the domain uh, 0 to 40 takes however many um, units we want it to go to from 0 to we'll max it out at 40 and then the steps in is the number of points we want there so it can be as low as you know 1 here's 6 or we'll go ahead and say 30 we can also specify a specific interval as opposed to just zero to any number. We can uh, go under scalar, interval, and just grab a basic interval. And uh, as opposed to saying zero to 40, we'll, uh, we can specify something else. So I'll copy this, and we can start it at, start A will be the first number. We'll start it at 12, and then the next number we'll say is 40 and then that interval we can run into the domain so you can see it pops up to starting at 12 or I can send it back down here's at 7 going from 7 to 33 so that's using an interval now that we've defined our domain using an interval and have the number of steps in our range we can go ahead and run that through uh, a function in a different axis. So here's a sine function that we can put into the y axis using the same uh, numbers and it'll pop out a sine function using that domain and range uh, with a sine curve. We can also do this with a the cosine. Grasshopper gives us a cosine as well as well as many other things. And we'll pop put that into the y just like the, our sine one and it just flips it to the cosine. Now what we can also do now that we have the, the range set up is put in any function we like. So I'll delete the sine and if we want to have a we can put in 2x plus 3 or a logarithmic one that have polynomials here. We can put in anything we want but the expression editor lets us put in a, a function up to eight variables so I'll go ahead and select a three variable function this is a function with x y and z variables so if even if we wanted to assign uh, we could use some math to have an even a more editable sign so I'll double click on here and this pops up the expression editor I'll go ahead and say sign uh, with parentheses and then in the parentheses I'll put y 
uh, times x, where x is our straight variable, and then y is the period. We can we'll edit that, toggle that with a, a slider. Now so we have a, a z variable we can also use, so I'll go ahead and do the amplitude as well. That'll be z times sine uh, times the sine function. So now that I've edited that, I can take the range, send it through the, the x variable, which is the variable that we want to see on the graph, and plug that back into y. So I'll delete the cosine. And now we need to specify those variables. We haven't specified them. So I'll grab a slider. And I'll go ahead and say uh, integers from 1 to 4. And this is just for the, the period and uh, amplitude. So I'll go say that they're both 1 and 1. And there you have it. We have our, our sign that we uh, put into the expression editor in our uh, function with three variables. The slider uh, and the y was the period. So you can see that the period ramps up from 1 to 2 and if it's not clear enough, if there's not enough uh, points, we can just go ahead and add more points or make the uh, domain larger as well. So here you can s uh, see that it also goes it'll uh, we might need more points to make it uh, smoother a smoother graph so I'll go ahead back to the the number of steps and edit that and go up to we'll double it and go 80 so that makes the number of steps the dy if you will uh, a little bit smoother and then we can see that this goes up to the the period is 2 go back down to 1, the period is 1, just like the normal sign button, except now we have full control over it. So I also put in the Z uh, for amplitude, and you can see pretty easily that that goes up from the 1 to 2 amplitude, or 3 or 4, and uh, if we just want to make that smoother, then we just crank up the number of steps, and it'll get a little bit smoother. So there you have it, we have our uh, function, our sign function that we've edited with uh, with our own sliders uh, to create a different um, to create a fully editable function, which this function could be anything we want it to. Uh, we learned about the the range button and what the domain is and the number of steps and how we define those and used a, an interval to define a domain different from starting at zero to a, a number using a different interval and then we see those through uh, the, the point button so there you have it we learned about the range interval and uh, functions today and hope you um, got something out of this tutorial see you next time